Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Today I'm coming to you with another beauty makeup haul. <laughs> so I am giggling because for those of you who are been on my channel for a long time, maybe like at least the last eight or nine months, then you know that I've recently been really, really interested in makeup. Um, I've always worn foundation when I needed to go out or do something, but I never used to be into eyeshadows and especially never used to be into lipsticks. So I've done um, two or three makeup hauls so far where I bought really bold colors in the summertime because you know summer is really electric and you go big or you go home. And then I recently bought some makeup that was more on the pink and mauve side so that it was more muted and a little less dramatic but more mature and professional. And so I've been catching up on the videos by the, my favorite makeup gurus and now everything is fall, fall, fall. So. I have to jump in line and get the fall colors. I don't want to be the fool with the bright bold colors. So I got some really nice fall colors and I went to MAC and I also went to CVS. So I'll start with what I got at MAC. When I went to MAC I got a lipstick and I got a, um, and a blush. So the lipstick is called, I don't know how to say this, please guys. Tell me how to say this. I say amorous or amorous, but I don't know if that's exactly how you're supposed to say it. I probably should have asked the lady in the store, right? So amorous is a wonderful plum color, as you can see here, and it is so pretty. Now here it looks um, more like a deep rose. Um, when I put it on me, because my lower lips are a little bit lighter, it comes out really pinky, um, but it's not bad. Here's a picture of what it looked like on me. So you see it's kind of like on the pinky side, um, even though it's more of a plum rosy color. And for the blush, I got Plum Foolery. I love the name of this blush. Okay, so this is the color in the pan. Oh, let me open it. This is the color in the pan. And you see it has a shimmer to it. It is definitely a shimmer tone blush. It's um, actually called Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush. So it is a shimmer blush and it has the plum color with the shimmer accents. So I uh, put this on, I actually have this on now, but I did like a very light brush so you can't really see right, it. So as you can see, two new colors from the fall, for the fall from MAC. Um, all right, now on to the Revlon. Went into CVS looking for some plum colors. Was a little disappointed that the Revlon colors were not on a buy one, get one half because every single time in the past that I've purchased my Revlons, they've been buy one, get one half. So I was able to save a lot of money in the past. However, I spent a lot of money this time. Revlon lipsticks are about $8.99, so I bought four, so you do the math, right? I picked up colors from the Shades of Brown collection and Shades of Red collection. Um, there might even be one in here from Shades of Plum, I think. So what I did was, as I just looked at the little color number scheme on uh, the actual wall display, and I tried to pick colors that were on the plummy side so that it would be a little bit more full, and then I looked for colors that were a little bit on the red and brown side so they would be a little bit warmer. Um, I've never worn brownish colors, so I tried not to go with like brown, 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 because I'm a brown girl, so I didn't want it to look so new that it looks like it just blended into my skin. Um, not yet, I mean, I probably will go into that arena of colors sooner than later, but just not yet. So the first color, I guess I'll do the colors by the lowest number to the highest number. I have Smoky Rose, 
This is a pearl finish. And Smoky Rose is, it looks brown. Even though it's called Smoky Rose, it looks like it's a brownish color, but it's, you know, pearl finish just will give it a little shine to it, which will be nice. And like I mentioned earlier, because my lips are a little bit more pink, like my lower lip is very pink in comparison to my upper lip, it'll probably look really rosy on me. Um, the next color is Plumalicious, and this is also in a pearl finish. And here you go. This is definitely on the plum scheme of things. Definitely pretty full. I haven't tried Smoky Rose yet or Plumalicious, so I don't know what they look like on. The next color is uh, Berry Rich. And I almost didn't pick it up, but the name Berry Rich just stuck out to me because I love I when Nene Leakes from Real Housewives of Atlanta says Very Rich. I love when she says that, so I picked it up just because of that. Um, be especially because the color is so much lighter. Um, let me show you, it is a cream finish. And cream finishes, I already know, look really good on me because all of my other Revlon colors, Berry Hot, Sassy Mauve, Mauve Night, and uh, I have like maybe two others, those are cream finishes and they look good on me. Now the pearl finishes that I just showed you from the other two colors, I have no idea what that's gonna look like on me. And here is um, the color. So this is definitely on the rosy pink side. So, you know, I usually, one of the things that I'm noticing is when I go into the store and I'm picking up colors, I try to stay close to the same color palette. So when I went in for the pink and mauves, I tried to get colors that were very close to each other so that the variation from each color would just be a little bit different. It won't be like pink and then orange and then red. You know, I try to get all same color palettes so that I can see the differences in what they look like on me and I can compare them to each other versus like so extremes, it's like whoa or ugh. You know, I try to get like close together. So the last one is Rum Raisin and it is a cream finish and I think I, when I looked at the name of this one, it just sounded like a color that you guys have mentioned to me and so I picked it up immediately. I was like, oh, Rum Raisin. I don't know if, if you've ever said it to me ever, but I felt like some, some of you have, and that's why I picked it up. So Rum Raisin was definitely in the brown category. I remember that for sure. It was in the shades of brown um, section, and it doesn't look brown, honestly. <laughs> I mean, it looks like plummy, raisiny. Like, look at my fingernail. My fingernails are brown. This is uh, Prince Charming by Orly. When I look at this, I see red rose, for sure. Um, and I have it on as well, so you can um, tell me what you think. <laughs> I wouldn't say that this is brown, but hey, it was in the shades of brown section, so it must have like brown undertones or something. Hey, I'm getting with the lingo, girls. I'm really getting with this uh, makeup lingo. So this is now uh, five additional lipsticks that I have added to my arsenal. I think I probably have about maybe 15 now, and in my last uh, makeup haul I asked if you guys wanted swatches and for me to put the lipsticks on so you could see them um, against my dark skin tone and I got an overwhelming response from you guys that you do want me to do that so I, I will, will do it it will be coming soon um, so you can see all my colors and um, and stuff like that so tell me have you uh, updated your fall makeup collection or for those of you who have been into makeup for a very long time what are some of your favorite fall colors um i would love to know because i might go buy some <laughs> and if you um wear any of the colors that i just mention that I just purchased let me know like what you think about these colors because I know that on different complexions and on different lip stick colors um, they come out differently and some people love them or hate them or whatever and uh, I also want to know like what do you guys think about pearl finish lipsticks if you have any questions leave them below and please read the description box girls I put so much time 
and filling in the description box in all of my videos with information on hair, makeup, sometimes I even mention um, tutorials that I did to get the style and I'll still get like a question from like 10 of you. What did you do to your hair? What did you do to your hair? Please read the description box, okay? Um, thank you so much. I love you for watching. Bye.